Crazy. That should be the name of this vlog. Cry guy, crusty, and crazy. If you ever enter a flip of the wrist contest, I'm no longer crusty anymore. Yeah, some of these don't look good. The highlight though, huh? Good morning. Good morning. Why am I awake? It's 7:30. Good morning, Mr. Teddy. Oh gosh, I like literally went to sleep at like 2 a.m. and it's 7.35 and I'm up. But there's so much light that comes in from this window and this balcony door. I don't know if you guys can tell that I always wake up extra early. Oh God, but... The more I lay here, I'll probably end up going back to sleep. But it is literally only 7.36 now. And it's light. It's so much prettier today than it was yesterday. But honey, I kind of wanted to sleep in until 10. But I guess not. I don't know if you guys can tell how much light that comes in. I need to get some curtains or something. I'm officially up out the bed. It is 8.20 and I'm getting ready to make my concoction. Um, I do feel a lot better <clears throat> than I did yesterday, but I still feel like some congestion and stuff. So I'm getting ready to make my concoction. Um, and I wanted to show you guys how I made you guys earlier. Look how much light comes in through these windows. like. Um, if you can just imagine how much light comes in, I know it's dim because of the sunlight, but this is what I meant about in my bedroom, the same amount of light that comes in because my patio is here and there's my room over there. And so all the sunlight comes in over there, but I really like the light because I can literally just open the blinds and I have to turn any lights on all day but when I'm trying to sleep in honey <laughs> it is not convenient um and I like this little open space right here I do have a dining room table but I didn't put it up it's in my storage because I like using this area to work out from home like I'll put like a little video <clears throat> up on this part of the bar and I'll just work out over here um, and plus I rarely sit at the dining room table to eat because it's just me. Like I just will eat in this chair and that'll do. Pretty much I have my mug here with some water. Um, it's cold water. If you want to boil water on the stove, have at it. I'm about to put this in the microwave. So I'm just going to put one of these little green tea bags in here. And okay so i put the green tea bag in here i always pull this string off because as you guys know those strings have little staples on it and i'm paranoid to put that in the microwave um so i'm just gonna start like so and i'm just putting this in the microwave on one minute then I'm gonna grab my honey. Look at this big thing of honey that I got from Walmart. Clutch. And then I'm gonna grab my lemon juice. And this is what I mean. I got groceries, girl. You won't need to go nowhere and spend no money. <coughs> and then one of these packets. Take this packet and pour it 
in here. Take some honey. Not a lot of honey because you don't want it to be like a sweet drink. But just pour that. This is so hard to squeeze because it's so big. I do like a lot of lemon juice because uh, I just love tart things. But it's just up to you how much lemon juice you put in there. About that much. And then you just want to get the foot of your wrist going. You just stir, 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 stir. Mix it up, mix it up. Um, if you can see the little particles floating, then you haven't mixed it up enough. Flip the wrist for as long as possible. Like, if you ever entered a flip of the wrist contest, you would be prepared. Okay. So, and then I just mashed the um, tea bag just to make sure that the tea is getting out and into it. And then I'm actually going to put it back in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Just to make sure that the honey is good and melted because I hate chunks of honey at the bottom of my drinks. Um, it's just disgusting, so... Put that back in there for 30 seconds. Today, I am going to be working on an assignment for work. I look extra crusty, so don't mind it. I'm still trying to get used to the angles and where I'm supposed to look and my good side and my bad side. And actually not looking uh, crusty only on Snapchat because usually Snapchat is the only social media outlet that sees me like this. How you guys see me and I hope you accept me for who I am okay so today I'm gonna be working on <clears throat> an assignment for work I'm working on my curriculum video hold on let me turn this TV down honey hold on one second I have a rough draft due to my peer review committee on this Friday coming up I believe September the 8th is the date no! Sorry, it's a gnat, and I thought it was going to fly in my tea. Um, but yeah, I have a rough draft coming up, and I want to focus this whole weekend on doing that, getting my first rough draft together. Um, that way, if I need any corrections, I still have the rest of the work week to fix it before I turn it into them. Um... And even though it's so nice outside, like, I don't know if you guys can see the sun coming in. But it's so much nicer outside today than it was yesterday. I really don't need to be nowhere spending money. Like, honey, who's gas? Who's direct deposit? No. I have a house full of groceries. Um, I have plenty of things I can watch on Netflix if I get bored of TV. And I have an assignment to work on. So these are the adult conversations you have to have with yourself. At the age of 27, I'll be 28 on the 25th. I don't need to be nowhere spending money, especially. You guys, I have to make a point, okay? I'm like vlogging. My very first vlog, it's me like raw, like hair not done, acne scars, glasses, no makeup, like, and I'm doing this because I need to get comfortable with myself on camera. <clears throat> like I can't. If I really want to do this, like, you guys are probably going to see me like this as much as you'll see me with makeup and stuff on. But I wanted to point something out. Um, I've had these glasses since I was in the ninth grade, okay? I am 27, about to be 28 years old. I've had these glasses way too long. So they are cricket. So if you see me in a scene where my glasses look like this, and you're like, are her glasses cricket? Yes, and it's not because I have this scarf on. They are genuinely cricket, okay? Cricket. Why am I explaining that? Because it looks weird on camera, and I already talk, like, out this side of my mouth. So, y'all, these nests is disrespectful. Dang. <clears throat> but anyway, I already talk, like, geared towards this side of my face, so it makes it seem like I'm looking like this. 
And most of the time when I don't have on makeup, or even sometimes when I do have on makeup, I, okay, y'all, y'all, y'all know the angles, okay? Us ladies, we know the angles, honey. Um, so, <laughs> don't mind it if I'm looking cockeyed, crusty, and crazy, okay? Cockeyed, crusty, and crazy. That should be the name of this vlog. Cockeyed, crusty, and crazy. Just what it is. You don't get it twisted. I am an alumni from the Hampton University. Um, I graduated in 2011 with my bachelor's in psychology. And then I went to graduate school at North Carolina State. <clears throat> graduated from there in 2013. Got my MS in family life and youth development. Look at this picture, you guys. This is my mom, my brother, one of my brothers, and me. I was a freshman in college. And this bitch, <laughs> Lord, honey, those were the days. But yeah. No sleeping in on Labor Day either, you guys. Clearly. I stayed up until 3 a.m. last night working on this and I'm happy to say <clears throat> that I have a rough draft ready uh you guys it's nothing like somebody telling you you can't do something to like put a fire up under you to actually do it um so I have a rough draft I still have until Friday of this week to make any edits or add or take anything away so I have some time um, so today I'm just going to relax. I'm probably just going to read over it like one more time. I might not even do that. I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to enjoy my day off, honey. Good morning, Mr. Teddy Bear. Ugh. You guys, I do not feel any better than I felt yesterday, but I literally just woke up. But if you can tell in my voice, like, this nasal congestion is not letting up at all. So, I don't know, I might go back to sleep or I might just be up for the day, but I'll catch you guys soon. You guys, I'm no longer crusty anymore! Um, it is 12.15 and I just purposely made myself look presentable because I want to go run some errands. I've been looking crusty all weekend. Um, excuse me if I'm looking weird. I'm still not used to where I need to look on the camera. Um... But yeah, so I'm just going to Walmart. Like, this is what us ladies do. Literally, I'm just going to Walmart. So, when I get there, oh, something in my eye. Maybe it's the hair. Oh! This is the thing about having bangs. When you clip them, you have the little hairs in your eye. I wear contacts and lashes. And honey, I don't have time. Okay? I really don't. But I will catch you guys in a second. I'm going to finish throwing something on.
hate going to Walmart for one reason and one reason only. There's always somebody in the way. Every time. You never fail. Just on the way. For no reason. bangs where it fell honey okay it's a lot hotter than I expected it to be today so this is just what it is Ooh, like I was saying don't move on the third floor unless you just really really hate thank you because that's exactly what I needed you to do at this moment in time okay unless you just really really hate having people above you or if you're in shape because, honey, carrying groceries up the steps is not a game. Ooh, look what came in the mail. It's my birthday month. So, Sephora is sending me something. I have an option to choose between these things. And I'm really looking towards getting this because I really love these glosses from Tarte. Or this blush. But, I don't know. Shrimp tacos. I was gonna make, I was supposed to be making shrimp nachos, but honey, guess who was the stove? And definitely forgot to eat tortilla chips. Your girl. You guys, you do know that when you buy frozen shrimp like this, that you're supposed to devein it. Because that's the poop shoot. <laughs> like, I'm gonna show you. So you have your shrimp that comes in um, the shell and what I do is I just peel it off of the shell ah. this one got some big poop wait a minute we're gonna rinse that one off because I don't know what the heck that was Y'all, I think I'm gonna sacrifice this piece of shrimp because it was like a big piece of poop on it and I ain't never seen that before and now it's got like a little stain and I'm just, you know, I'm real like, I don't do food poisoning, honey. Um, but like I was saying, so you just want to Peel it from the shell. And then there's this little vein. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a vein on the inside of there. You want to cut that out. So all I do is just take a little knife. This is a parchment knife. Like one of them little knives they use for fruit. And you just want to cut. Just want to cut. You guys see that? The little poop line out. And trust me, I'm gonna wash my hands after this. I've washed my hands before this. I think that I'm running a fever, which usually is what happens when I get sick like this because my nose be so congested for so long before it clears up. I start running a fever and like I'm just so extra hot right now like it's warm outside but it ain't hot and I'm hot like I'm like hot like fire I did get some more medicine that's some off name brand Mucinex because honey Mucinex is expensive have y'all ever went and bought Mucinex? Mucinex is like $15 who? who's direct deposit? not mine? Girl, so I just bought some off name brand. Hopefully, that'll do just as good. like 
I'm actually gonna put just a little bit more of this extra spicy seasoning because I told y'all <laughs> I like it to be spicy and some black pepper. Who is it? Okay, I'm done. Put the top on. Anybody else use tops on their pants that don't fit? Like, this is not the top for this, clearly. But I have no clue where the appropriate one is at. So, this will be the top for it from now on. It smells amazing. Yes. Yeah. 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 Tell me these don't look good. I put some mango salsa on top of it. I get this from Food Lion. I am about to tear this up. You guys, here's my t-shirt that I made so you guys can see it better. It's just an oversized little distressed and bleached shirt with the sleeves chopped on the side. I wish I didn't do this to the sleeves because I honestly don't like it, but it is what it is. Um, but here's a shirt. Uh, you guys. I think I'm about to take a nap. Let this medicine kick in. Again, because my nose is just doing what it wants to do. It is just doing what it wants to do. And I don't have the energy to fight with it anymore. So, I'll catch y'all later. I mean, <laughs> I'm in here going ham trying to blow my nose. And yes, I even have one of these nose little suction things. So these things actually work, okay? And you can actually put water and stuff in here to make a little nanny pot. But these things work good. The highlight though, huh? Yes. I'm trying to declog my nose, you guys, but... It's not working. <sighs> but yeah, you guys. I thought I was going to try to take a nap, but like I can't breathe. I was <laughs> I was laying down. I couldn't breathe, girls. So I had to get up. I had to get up because I could not breathe. It's that deep. It's this nostril over here that is congested now. They just go back and forth. They go back and forth all day. So... I don't know what I'm about to do. I need to watch Narcos on Netflix. I need to paint my toes. Um, I don't know. So I I'll check to out. Show everyone my nails because I know somebody is going to ask. Um, I get my nails done at Nail Addict on Oyster Point in Newport News, Virginia. The girl that I go to, her name is Tilly. Um, I'll put their Instagram page and stuff in the video. But yeah, I get my nails done at Nail Addict. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. I don't have anything else to do. This vlog was just more so getting me used to vlogging and seeing myself on camera. Um, so sorry if it was boring. It's just a whole bunch of nothingness. This vlog is really more so for me than anything. Um, but I plan on doing like weekly vlogs or on the weekend, I'm not sure yet. Um, so, I just appreciate everybody who tuned in, and until next time, I'll catch you later.